What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test five very unique toasters. Let's see what I got. Regular toasters I have put to the test this one years ago only will fit a one small piece of bread. Well guess what? What if you want to have a long sandwich and you don't want to cut it in half and you still want to toast it? No problem. Get a toaster like this. Boom! Look how much longer that is. This is amazing. This button right here is to warm up croissant and soft bread. All you have to do is just press it and close it. Very, very nice. Right here is for the bread. I have a long slices of bread. Let's start out, see how well it's going to do. Here you go, for example, really, really long pieces of bread. With this toaster, it just will not fit. Look at that. What are you gonna do? One side, then flip it over and do the other side? The middle will still get burnt. This is why it's amazing to have a toaster like that. Let me hold it up for you. You see how well it's going to stick? I can even put much, much longer bread. Look at that. There's a lot of space left. Boom. I'm gonna plug it in and let's see what happens. Okay, it looks like it's on. Okay, it's smoking a little bit. I'm gonna take it off a little early. And look at that, kind of tossed it a little bit more to the side. I'm not sure if it's because of type of bread or something, but still looks really good. Looks nice and crunchy and hot. Okay, let's see if the next toaster even better. This is not too hot, just warm to the touch. Sometimes toasters get really, really hot to the side, which is not good. Next toaster is like no other. Let me show you why. Does it look like a toaster? Well, guess what? It comes out from this side. Pretty sure you pull it out like that. Once again, if you want to put one piece, you can just put it like that or different kind of stuff, or you can put two pieces like this. One and two. The settings is pretty much everything the same as the other one. Let's put it uh, on for this time. This one stayed up, have heating tubes. Looks legit, but will it heat the bread evenly? Let's find out. You know what I just realized looking inside how it works? I will have to do one piece at the time because the way it is set up. Which is kind of inconvenient because if I need two pieces I have to do same thing twice. Okay, let's pull this out and let's see how this bread looks like. Very nice. But you know what, this toaster was actually a bit slower than the first one. A little bit disappointed about that but bread is really, really crispy and toasted. I like it. For the next gadget, you guys are gonna be really excited about it. This is a taco tortilla toaster. Not those big ones, the smaller ones. I actually didn't get the taco tortilla, so I just cut it out into a smaller ones and made it taco ones. So, soft taco ones, whoa, exact number, perfect. Push it all the way in, and then right here, how do you turn it on? Oh wait, it's got to be plugged in, of course. And then on, by pulling off, it will go down. This means it's on. We'll put it on three, maybe three and a half, and see what happens. It was blinking for a second, it stopped blinking. I guess it means it's preheated, now it's cooking. Okay, we wait. It says hot surface, be careful. Whoa, did you guys see what happened? Once it's done, it just pressed it and it folded up. Let me move it away. Now all I have to do is just pull them all out. Whoa, they all are really, really hot and warm. They, it's not really a toaster because it's not toasting them, it's just heating them up. As you can see, they're not, uh, what do you call it, crusty. This is mostly steamy. Whoa, and they are really, really hot. What an amazing gadget. This one right here actually kind of got toasted up a bit. Amazing toaster. I love it. I'm keeping that one for sure. By the way, that was a really fast too. Touch it to the side. Wow, didn't even heat up. Really, really cold. I guess it has a lot of insulation and stuff. Very nice. But again, I only did one batch. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So two times probably will still be pretty cool. 
For the next gadget, this is more like off-grid toaster, so you can use it over the campfire fire or over the gas stove, just like that. That one was really hard to find, and I'm so glad I did. This is called Delta Toaster, so how it opens up is like that, boom. So it will catch all the heat with these pieces and distribute it, and I guess you only put one piece of toast at the time. Huge minus about this bird toaster, only one slice at the time. But it does fit pretty big piece of slice, I like that. Okay, I have a gas stove, let's see how well it's going to do. Obviously all of this is going to get really, really hot. Oh look, you can make it bigger and you can make it much shorter and just uh, adjust it right here. By spinning this two, okay, I think this is gonna be Perfect. Nice. Okay, now we're gonna put it over the stove. Okay. Turn the gas on. Gas stoves is the only way to go. I just rented a property with the electric stove. Man, it was so hard to cook on it. But yeah, this is what it's going to look like. You see how the gas is going to disturb to the different heat levels, every single hole is to remove the heat to the different levels so that bird does not burn only on the bottom. Probably should take it down a bit lower and this is how you can toast your bread right on a stove. Very unique gadget, that's for sure. Okay, now we wait. I was wondering how can you tell if it's cooked or not yet, but I guess you can look to the side I think we can keep it a little bit longer, but yeah, it's toasting pretty good. Maybe one more minute. Oh wow, look, this one is heating up. The bottom of it, just like a real electric toaster. I guess this toaster is real too. I guess the biggest challenge is try to take off that bread. So let's try to pull this out. Maybe I haven't, maybe I shouldn't have tied it up so much but look at that toast it perfectly hold it a bit too long in there but some people like toast like that i can't believe it it actually toasted everywhere not only from the bottom very very cool and look inside of it it's pretty soft still amazing toaster i love it when the power is out this is what i'm gonna be using this toaster oven comes with the old school toaster oven that you can toast up the frozen meals but also you have here a regular toaster up here as well that is long so you can stick two smaller pieces of bread or one long one really nice okay let's stick one long one real quick let's stick one over here and let's see how well it's going to toast everything. Oh. Okay, how do you push it in? Okay, you push it. Okay, I guess you press. Okay, you press it on. Is it on? I don't know. Oven 400, 350, toaster 4. Oh, there you go. You gotta push it down. That way the oven and the toaster will turn on at the same time. Okay, let's see what happens. And right here you can press it to kick it off the toaster soon. It actually closed the top. You see how I closed it? That's what you're supposed to do. Just don't push it down okay now we cook it and let's see what happens okay guys this toaster is just way too slow looks like I finally toasted the bread but I've been waiting the longest on this one okay pull this one out look at that toasted really good that's for sure overcooked it but it just takes way way longer than the other ones that's for sure well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think about this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.